Hello everybody, it's Steel here from Firm But Fair Gaming, bringing you another Bellright video. Today is going to be a content video. We are going to war. It is time for some liberation. We have two different towns that we're going to liberate. In this video, we are going to be liberating Padstow. So, if we look at the map, I have a few different camps, and if you see my other video, I have a bandit farm camp, which is full of my infantry. And then I have my main camp, which is also comprised of people who will be my infantry, as well as my archers. So let's go gather the troops and rally them to march to victory. So our first order of business is going to be getting food so that the army can actually march. So because when they run out of food, of course, they go and turn back into workers. And this is going to be a bit of a hike from getting them to Padstow, as well as from getting these guys to Padstow. So we are going to relocate some food for some checkpoints. So I'm going to, one, make sure they load up on food from their actual camp. Then we will march down to probably about here. I'm going to build a chest by this travel post with some food and then march all the way down here. As you can see, I already have a travel chest here. So we're going to march all the way over there and we'll have a couple checkpoints or stop pit stops to make sure that they eat up. And then when we get here, we're going to eat up again and then we're going to set up for the fight. So I've preemptively set up a couple fences that you'll see later for my archers for some protection as I have a game plan in mind for when we get there. But anyhow, let's go look after the food I'm not going to show you that part because it's not going to be very exciting, but we're going to transport a whole bunch of food so that they can be eat, be happy, and keep marching. Additionally, in preparation, we created a lot of armor and weapons. So I guess it would be easier to show it this way. So uh, here in our equipment, we can see we have seven shields. Why equipment isn't armor? I don't know. We have 10 arrows set up for our archers. Our actual armor, we have a, like basically full kit there from chest, helm, boots, and only well, only a couple gloves apparently, and some pants there, so we're set there. Then for weapons, we have a bunch of bows, some two-handed weapons, some short swords, a couple war hammers. We are good to go. And of course, our infantry that is already out in our bandit farm area are already kitted, so we just need to rally troops and we will be set. All right, our army is set up as good as we can do. The archers aren't quite standing where I would like them to, but uh, we'll make do. Actually, I might as well just put them here as soon as they seem to be having issues with the fence. So we are going to go start our fight here and see how we do. So we have everybody set up. We lost a few people due to food, as you know happens, but hopefully we have enough people left to maintain victory so we are going to kick this off and kite the enemy back towards our army and then we will probably join our archers for a little bit and help pick them off in the distance so I will try to get a couple shots in first that was a bad one and we will go back here I'm already out of stamina I just realized I had lost the food so we will Tell everybody to engage. Uh, where do I want to go here? They are actually doing a decent number on that guy. They actually got him down. You know, we lost a individual over there. Let's see if I can help out at all. So far, I'm not doing a very good job helping out. Let's just switch to the sword and help take this guy out. They are actually fairly tough by the looks of things. And this guy with the two-hander, I think, oh wow, I think he's going to be trouble. Four damage apiece. Oh, and they have an archer back here. Um, kind of want to leave them to this guy, but maybe I can't. I'm going to move the archers up, and hopefully they will help take out that last guy. Nice, we got the two-hander guy down. Our archers are actually... I don't know, whiffing madly. This might hurt if he hits me. Oh, thank God they hit him. They actually got him. There we go. Turning a little bit into a pin cushion here. I got him again. I'm going to see if they can get the final blow. Oh, Jesus. Maybe I shouldn't have let them try to get the final blow. Because he might kill me. 
Oh, archers are actually very agile and quick, understandably. There we go. Got the last guy down. Now we're going to make everybody follow me um, just to make sure the town is clear. It does look like we lost all of our inventory, unfortunately. I mean, that two-handed guy was a beast. But it does look like we have successfully taken Padstow. I mean, I was completely useless, but that's fine. That's why we raised an army, and it was fun watching them actually work. So we're going to disband what is left of my army so that everybody goes to where they're supposed to go. And we are going to build a bell tower and enjoy the fact that we have liberated our second village. As we have liberated Padstow, where is a good spot for Bell Tower? I am thinking I want it over here. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. So we have liberated Padstow. Amazing. So now we have two down and one more to go here that we have available because we are a protector of Bradford. That will be coming next. Obviously, we have a number of dead people and we will need to rebuild and replenish before we take on the city. But I'm excited to get more apprentices. Let me know if you've taken out, taken over Padstow yet. What strategy did you use? Also, if you happen to know the best way to get archers to actually pick up bows when they go to the weapon rack please let me know i've yet to kind of crack that code is what i'm kind of trying to figure out at the moment so if you know let me know in the comments i would very much appreciate it and so yeah this is the end of my content video i hope you enjoyed watching the my companion do all the work while i basically get my butt kicked if you have any questions or comments about bell right be sure to drop them in comments below as well. I will do my best to answer them. As always, I do appreciate any likes, shares, and subscribes, so please click those buttons. And of course, you can come find me on Twitch. I stream a few times a week. Be happy to see you there and talk about Balright and everything else as well. So until next time, this is Dio from Firm of Fair Gaming. Happy harvesting, fighting, banditing, liberating, and all the fun stuff that Balright offers us. And we'll see you in the next video.